Understanding Clinical Trials. Let's hear from some patients who have taken part in a clinical trial on what it was like for them to be in a clinical trial. Note that individual clinical trial experiences may vary from what is presented. When you hear clinical trial, you'll think, oh, I'm just gonna be a guinea pig and they're just gonna, you know, experiment on me and, you know, but that's not what it was at all. It was total opposite. I've been in four and they were kind of self-selected by myself and my doctor. Being on a trial was a difficult and a hopeful journey. It was difficult because we didn't know what was going to happen. You know, failure was certainly uh, something that, that was possible and no one could let me know what it was going to be like uh, to be the first patient on, on this combination of therapies. There's been a lot of ups and downs, uh, both medically and situationally. Clinical trials aren't always the easiest things. Every time I go for an appointment, which is every two months, they always ask me again and again, like, are you sure you want to continue on this trial? You know, or do you have any concerns? It's kind of like having a second mom <laughs> because they just want to make sure that you're okay and that the side effects you're going through aren't too much for you. I felt safe in, in any facility that I've ever participated in a clinical trial because I feel like um, doctors don't go into it, you know, to harm you. They really do go into it to make things better for you. If you have an adverse event, I mean, they make sure that they address it as soon as possible. So I've never had any fear or had any worry about it not being safe for me. You can stop participating in a clinical trial at any point in time you feel like you need to. All clinical trials have risks, and you should really understand before you agree and consent. Learn more at clinicaltrials.novartis.com.